At the heart of this meeting is a quest to cut the influx of African migrants to Europe. One way of doing this is developing African economies through private investment, encouraging especially young people from leaving. The European Union is one of Africa's biggest partners, but investment banker Johnson Chuku says the pattern of trade and investment is skewed against real development on the continent. The developed Western countries trade with Africa are largely based on export of um, finished goods to Africa and import of raw materials from Africa. Um, and then for the more developed economies in Africa, we also see a lot of portfolio investment coming from the Western countries into countries like Nigeria, and, um, Kenya, and, and South Africa. But other African countries benefit from the Western countries through importation of finished goods and the export of raw materials. It's a model, he says, needs to change to bring about genuine development. One body, though, appears to be making a difference in trade relations with Africa. More and more African countries are turning to the BRICS members for financial support. So you see that the Chinese have invested in countries like Nigeria. The Chinese are the ones providing funding for the $12 billion um, coastal uh, standard gauge role in Nigeria. We also know that the Chinese government funded the $3.4 billion um, standard gauge rate running from Kenya to from Nairobi to Mombasa in Kenya. The Chinese government funded the textile industrial layout in Egypt. They are funding a refinery in Angola. Um, they are funding a capital project in Congo uh, the Republic. They are also fund, they are they've been involved in several infrastructure development projects in Africa. The Ethiopia, Djibouti and Nairobi Mombasa standard gauge railway lines are examples of how Chinese investment is transforming African infrastructure, but experts say gaps still remain. The BRIC countries are exporting value-added goods, while African countries are exporting raw, raw materials. So the key thing is that the BRIC countries should support Africa to in, improve its, the value chain of what is produced in Africa, so that um, African economies can actually develop further and create jobs. Uh, today, a lot of jobs are being exported outside South Africa because what Africans are doing is export the raw materials and then import the same products back into Africa in the finished format. Tweaking that balance has always been a huge challenge and economists have long warned that unless Africa effectively becomes a producing rather than a consumption continent, things will never change and even that migrant crisis that Europe is trying to check with the Berlin summit will not yield the desired result. Dejibadmo, CGTN, Lagos, Nigeria.